Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Martina and this is the secret craft room. Today's video is part of the Tricksters with Treats Halloween Fun collaboration hosted by me and my dear friends Dawn from Shabby Meets Bling, Monica from Up All Night DIY and Marina from Marina's Corner. We are joined by a whole bunch of talented creators for some spooky fun projects. Make sure to check out the playlist to see what everyone came up with. You'll find the link in the description box. It is no secret that I love making and decorating with ghosts, so I decided to make a 3D family portrait of cute sheet ghosts. Don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you like it because it helps me out so much. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing I did was to make a sketch to decide how I wanted it to look. Then I made a template for the frame in my computer. I cut out the frame pieces from thick cardboard. This cardboard piece is a bit thinner than what I usually like to use so I doubled it. You also need a piece for the back but I cut out mine later on. I used PVA glue to glue the cardboard pieces together. I also added masking tape to help hold it together while the glue dried. Next I cut out a whole bunch of small cardboard pieces. I glued these onto the frame in stacks of 5 because this is the depth I wanted in the frame. Then I cut out the back piece and glued it to the cardboard stacks. Next I cut out strips of thin cardboard with the width I wanted for the frame. Then I glued the strips to the frame. I also used masking tape to hold everything together while the glue set. I did the same thing to the inside of the frame but I made these strips about 5mm thinner. Thank you. 
Next I cover the frame with spackle and let that dry completely. Then I sanded everything down as smooth as possible. To embellish the frame I used a variety of silicone molds. You can add clay to the molds, but I sometimes find it easier to use hot glue. Then I glued the pieces I wanted in place. I sort of made it up as I went along. For the border I used air dry clay. I like to use PVA glue to help the clay stick to the surface. I also added clay pieces to the sides of the frame.
Once completely dry I painted the frame black. I also painted the inside floor and ceiling black and the rest of the background white. Once the paint had dried I dry brushed gold paint on top of the black. Then I decided to glue rhinestones to the eyes of the skulls. I printed out wallpaper and added it to the background using Mod Podge. I also added a coat of Mod Podge on top of the wallpaper to seal it in. To make it look old and abandoned I used soft pastels that I made into a powder using my craft knife. It didn't stick too well to the surface, so I decided to add some water to the powder. This worked great. You can also continue blending everything when it has dried.
To make the floorboards I used these wooden stir sticks. I just cut off the ends to make them flat and then I glued them to the floor using hot glue. I also added baseboards the same way. Next I mixed black acrylic paint with baking soda and added it to the ceiling. I used the leftover soft pastel powder and water to color the floor. Then I added stir sticks as trim along the ceiling and painted that black. Then I glued some moss in the corners. Next I covered everything with a coat of Mod Podge.
I used styrofoam balls for the ghosts heads. I placed them out in the frame and then I measured how tall I wanted each ghost to be. I thought I recorded this part but I didn't. I mixed equal parts water and PVA glue and then I added a whole bunch of this glow in the dark paint. Since the ghosts need to be flat on the back I cut the styrofoam balls into halves. For the little ghost dog I used a piece of this packing material and cut out his body which I glued to the styrofoam ball. I added metal wire to the other styrofoam balls, a few centimeters longer than the finished ghost will be. First I tried to make sort of like a stand as you can see, but this didn't work out so you'll see me change this later on. To make the circles for the ghosts, I first cut out squares that were double the length of the ghost. To make it into a circle, I folded it first diagonally, then folded edge to folded edge three times. Then I cut off the excess part. Then I unfolded it once and made the edge more rounded, then it should be a circle. I also tried out each piece on the ghosts before I continued on. For the dog I cut out an oval shape. Then I folded it in half on the length and cut one side narrower to create sort of an egg shape. Then I soaked each piece in the glue mixture. Make sure that the whole thing is wet. Then I squeezed out most of the liquid. Then I draped it over the styrofoam and wire. The weight was too much for the stand to hold so it wanted to tip over. So I decided to use my felting foam piece to hold the wire instead. It is a bit fiddly to arrange the folds, but it doesn't need to be perfect.
Once the ghosts were almost completely dry, I laid them down on a table to flatten them a bit and then let them dry again. Next I glued a piece of black felt to the back of the frame. I also added a hanger to the back. Then I painted eyes on the ghosts, and the dog also got a nose. Then I used soft pastels and a soft makeup brush to make them a bit dirty. Lastly, I arranged them in the frame and glued them in place using hot glue. Make sure to check out the playlist that is linked in the description box. And also give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.